Oh, hello. This is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, please feel free to write to me at walkwithtak at gmail.com if you have any questions regarding to this video or any other videos that I've posted in the past. If you have any videos that you would like me to make, uh, please let me know. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Uh, there are many different ways to cook fried rice. And if you love fried rice and you would like to have different variations of fried rice, um, this would be a good place for you to start. Now, in fried rice, the egg plays a very important role. In this fried rice, it's known as golden fried rice. And I will explain to you why this is the case. Okay, let's go into the kitchen. Uh, I'm going to cook this fried rice in my cuisine at 14 inch stainless steel wok. Now, to cook fried rice, uh, the most important thing is that you need to uh, properly season your wok. And I use my spot seasoning method uh, so that I can create a nice non stick cooked surface. I'm going to let the oil to smoke for about 15 seconds uh, gently, and this is the time when the wok is being seasoned. Now, to cook this fried rice, uh, the most distinctive uh, factor is that you're going to uh, start with the rice. Now, in the past, you saw me cook fried rice, I often start with the egg. Now, this is different, and I'll explain to you in a minute why this is the case. And the rice that I use have been in the refrigerator for about uh, 48 hours. It's always nice to cook some extra rice because you can uh, use it to cook fried rice. And of course, you can also use it um, as a uh, normal rice by simply microwave it. A rice is excellent um, shell life in the refrigerator and it warms up really well. So in here, I use uh, something called a hamburger meat smasher uh, to break up the rice. This is probably one of the most uh, valuable tools that I have in making fried rice because it will allow you to break up the fried rice easily. Now, I'm going to switch to my wok spatula uh, to um, mix everything together. I'm going to fry the rice for about maybe just about 30 to 40 seconds. And then I'm going to ready to cook the egg. Now, as you can see here, the wok is well seasoned and the rice do not stick to the bottom surface of the wok at all. I'm going to push the rice uh, to the edge of the wok and leave the center part pretty much open. And then I'm going to add a little bit more oil. It doesn't have to be very much, probably about one uh, tablespoon. And then I'm going to add eggs to it. Now there's quite a few eggs. There's five eggs in here. So as you can see that uh, uh, you can adjust the ratio between the egg uh, in the fried rice, uh, depending on how much egg you like in a fried rice. Now I normally uh, like to have quite a bit of eggs in the fried rice. It provides me with a good source of protein. So I'm going to add a little bit of salt uh, to the egg. Now you notice that right away, I'm going to mix the egg directly uh, with the rice. Now this is where the term golden fried rice comes in. As you can see that um, the egg coats the rice and gives the rice a yellow golden color. Now this is quite different from the other way to cook fried rice, which is to fry the egg uh, separately so that the egg is be more distinct. Now in this case, the egg is going to blend directly uh, with the rice. Now different people have different preference. Uh, for my wife, she prefer much better when she can actually taste the flavor of the egg. But for some other people, this, act, this might work better in their own taste preference. So I'm almost ready. I got everything all mixed up. And next is that I'm going to add some king oyster mushroom. Now the king oyster mushroom take a little bit of time uh, to cook. By cutting them into small pieces, they will allow them to cook much faster. So um, the king oyster mushroom is always add a little bit earlier than other type of ingredients. And this is a, a concept of uh, sequential stir frying that you add the ingredients that you want to fry longer uh, during the early part of the cooking process. Uh, this will allow you to cook different ingredients to pretty much the texture that you want and ingredients that only need to cook for a short time, uh, you can add it later. So the end result is that you will not overcook them. Now, um, the next step is that I'm going to cook this into a mega shrimp fried rice. Now, again, I use the shrimp mainly as a condiment rather than as the main ingredients. Here I have some uh, shrimp. This is actually a jumbo shrimp, but I cut them up into small pieces. I usually buy large shrimp because I can always make them smaller and large shrimp in general taste better than small shrimp. 
The next is that I'm going to add some char siu. Uh, this is a roast pork which I make uh, about uh, perhaps uh, a month ago, and I uh, freeze them, and they freeze really well. And uh, since the pork is already cooked, uh, I can add it pretty much later. Now, uh, by now, uh, both the shrimp and the uh, pork are pretty much ready. Next is that I'm going to add some uh, frozen vegetables. Frozen vegetables really make a good fried rice because frozen vegetables, uh, in this particular case, uh, not only add flavor to the fried rice, but it also add great texture as well as color. As you can see in this frozen vegetable, I have four different kinds of frozen vegetable. That is green bean, sweet pea, and corn, as well as some carrot. The frozen vegetable I add directly to the fried rice because uh, I let them just thaw out while I stir frying everything together. This actually allows the frozen vegetable to thaw uh, more uh, gently, so they will maintain the texture of the vegetable. Okay, now it is almost done. Uh, next is I'm going to add some of my uh, wok with ta basic seasoning mix. Uh, this seasoning mix is great for enhance the natural flavor of the food ingredients, which I really uh, want to be the primary goal. Now in this dish, I already have some great flavor. I have the shrimp, I have the um, char siu, um, the king oyster mushroom, and four different kinds of frozen vegetables. So this is a complete meal with all the proteins, uh, the uh, vegetables which um, contain good fibers, and all of this can put together into a single dish. Now this dish is also very fast to cook, and uh, it allows you uh, to make this dish usually in a matter of uh, about six to seven minutes. And this is about the amount of time that I spend in cooking this dish. Now at this point, I'm just uh, continue to fry the rice. Uh, this is a time, make sure you uh, keep the heat relatively low and then also stir it on a regular basis. And with this, you will prevent uh, the rice from getting burned, but at the same time, uh, you will fry it, so you will give the rice a uh, char or as well a crispy texture. And for fried rice, this is a great way to cook it. Now, as you notice that I do not add any fluid uh, to this fried rice. Uh, personally, I like the fried rice relatively dry. I do not want it to be mushy and sticky. Okay, the last step is that I'm going to add some uh, fresh scallion. This scallion has been chopped in advance. Uh, the reason that uh, I can cook all this with such a short amount of time uh, because almost everything I have is already prepped. In this dish, the only thing I need to prep uh, are the shrimp. I thought out the shrimp, which is the jumbo shrimp, and then I cut them into pieces that would fit in this fried rice. The rest of the food ingredients, uh, I already have them. The char siu, um, I already cooked earlier, although I do uh, take the char siu and cut up into pieces. But all of this only takes a very short amount of time, and it's nothing more than just one or two minutes. Now this dish is a good example of my fast cooking system, which has four components, flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and template based cooking. Now through advanced prepping, I have most of the ingredients all ready to go, and stir frying uh, allow me to cook it very quickly. And with uh, flavor chasing, I'm able to adjust the flavor uh, in this dish by choosing the type of uh, food ingredients that I want to um, to create a flavor that I'm looking for. And template-based cooking means that you don't need a recipe because basically this dish is the basic template for stir-fry, uh, for frying fried rice. And when you use this type of approach, uh, it makes home cooking far more spontaneous and intuitive because you don't have to struggle uh, with a recipe and try to figure out what you want to use. And one distinctive feature of this fried rice uh, is that you do not cook the egg in advance. In fact, you uh, pour the egg into the wok, you let it just fry for a few uh, seconds, and then you mix everything together. And that's why they refer to it as the golden fried rice, because the color that it gave. Now this fried rice is very different. As you can see in this fried rice, uh, the pieces of egg are far more uh, distinctive. They are coming in large chunks. Now, the difference is that in this fried rice, you can actually uh, taste the eggs. 
where as in the golden fried rice, the eggs already blend into the fried rice, so you not able to taste it. And for example, my wife much prefer uh, the second method. Okay, I post a video each day uh, to help you to make home cooking as part of your daily routine. Uh, if you like to learn more about this cooking system, uh, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. So keep on cooking, and I will see you tomorrow.